I'm Bruce. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about record keeping. Record keeping. That doesn't sound fun, right? <laughs> um, as a beekeeper, I should probably keep records. Now, I, I might be keeping records of my hive checks. What is the mood, food, and brood of the colonies? If, I'm, if my colonies are queen right, which means they have a, a queen that's producing and, and healthy. Um, mite treatments might counts. There's a lot of things I might keep track of on a daily basis. If I only have one or two hives, should I bother with it? I think so. I think you should. The reason being that you build good habits if you keep records. Most beekeepers tend to expand over time. You start out with one or two and then eventually you get a bunch more. Tracking individual hives is important. Now, it might be a little bit different if I was a commercial beekeeper. Now, there's types of commercial beekeepers. I might be the type of commercial beekeeper where honey production is my main goal and my main thing. Or I might be moving my colonies to pollinate almonds in California or something like that. If I was a commercial beekeeper, my tracking is going to be a little different than as a hobbyist. For one thing, it's a business, so I'd be tracking the cost, the cost of each hive, the cost of, you know, how many, how much for each box, how much, you know, it costs me to move the hives, how much it costs to employ the labor that does the options that I, the operations that I have to do. I might be tracking honey sales, records of, of how much money's coming in and out, movements of hives. You know, each one of these hives should have a different designation. Um, but as a, as a hobbyist, it's still important for me because by looking back at my records from times before, I can see trends. I can see what's going on with my colonies. So how do you keep records? Well, some people will write notes on the lids of their hives. Say I make a split and I'm having the bees make their own, their own queen, for example. Um, I might put all the bees with larvae that's old enough for them to make a new queen out of. I might put them into a colony, into a box, and I'll mark on the lid. If today is the seventh of this month, I'll put check the seventh of next month, you know, and I'll leave those girls alone for a whole month. And when I go back in a month, that new queen will have had time to emerge, be victorious over her other sisters who might become queens. She'll fly out, mate, and be back laying eggs in a month. Some people check them early, but I don't. I let them alone. In a month when I go back and check, I'll, I can write right on the lid, checked on the seventh of such and such month, queen write or just QR. And so you'll find, even on my, even on some of my colonies, you'll see notes written on the lids. And after a while, it starts to get a little crowded. I'll just take a paintbrush or paint roller and I'll just roll a new bit of paint on that lid. Good to go again. That's one way to do it. It's kind of low tech. A lot of people do it that way, but keeping good notes is a good idea. Of course, you, the more colonies you get, the more notes you do take. So how can we manage it? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. Like I said, notebooks is the way I do it. But some people are going to get a little more high tech than that. You'll see what I mean. Queen ride on September 11th. Very nice. Tracking individual hives, I do it a couple of ways. I name my hives. Mm -hmm. This is brown. Over here is green. A lot of these hives have stories. This one here is Angela's tree bees because that was my daughter and um, 
I took collected these bees out of a hollow tree at her house. These girls I call devil girls, and that comes from a uh, unfortunate incident where I tried to do a little weed eating around their hive one time. They weren't having it. This one is Bruce Hive. The Korean writing there says Bruce. This is cedar girls from a cedar tree swarm. Um, I call that one the flower hive. That one there is called May's Table Bees, and that's my other daughter. She had a wooden table that had bees come into it. I call this one Bomber Girl. I call this one Jose Hive because um, <laughs> my co-worker Jose had these bees on the side of his house, and um, I brought them home. That one is the Smiley Hive. This one's Bauhaus because, eh, I don't know. <laughs> In history, there was the German Bauhaus art movement of the 30s was kind of interesting. You don't have to do it this way. Some people just put numbers on them. Some people put cattle tags. Some people will actually put QR codes on them. But this is the way I do it. Okay, this is my friend Kraz. And um, I've been talking about keeping records for your bees. Um, as you can see, a lot of people will keep records on their on the lid of their box, and that, that works. It's a code that everybody uses. But Kraz, unlike me, is actually using a um, using the app on his phone. So I'm going to give it over to Kraz and let him talk a little bit about it. Hey, everybody. Um, I use B+, is the name of that app. I believe it's only uh, available on... Apple, but I'm not 100% sure, but it gives you quite a few different features you can use. Uh, the one that I, you can put in all your equipment, uh, an equipment app, it talks about all the things that you have purchased and all that. And then you also can do record keeping for all your inspections. So it'll let you put in each apiary that you have, and then the hives within your apiary, and then the inspections that you do. And it can show you whether you're queen right, all the green dots mean that you're good to go. Um, if you uh, if you got something wrong, you just leave that blank. I think I can do a new inspection, add new inspection. So you would be able to put a picture in there, the date, the weather, um, whether it's queen right, whether you got cells, uh, all different kinds of stuff all the way through there, and notes as well. And the equipment that you have in each one of your, um, in your uh, hives. So it also gives you a, QR code if you want to and put your put the QR code in your box you just scan that and it jumps right to your, the hive that you want to make notes on so uh, it's, it's a good way to uh, keep records if you are diligent about it and when you do your inspections put that information in. so that's what awesome. I use B plus so when you're talking about the the equipment purchase that, that you have does it like give you the costs and so money going out and money going in that's right it, it, you can put the amount that each one of the uh, items that you have cost if you put if you're diligent enough to put those into uh, whatever hive units you have if you put another box on or you put some frames in or an excluder on there you put it it, 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 it um, takes it off your storage what you have and puts it in the particular things and it will tell you how much cost that you have of equipment and what you're using it also allows you if you wanted to to how much honey you pull off by weight you can you can kind of uh, do all that stuff so it's awesome it's, so you could you would say that it would be good for both a backyard peepers person as well as a commercial person yeah i think it would it for, for record keeping purposes but you've got to actually input the data work <laughs> it does more than i use it for got it. so that's that's always the cool thing it marks uh it can map the different areas that you have and you can show that what you're foraging um, on your map where the foraging range is on the bees so it's a fun toy to have as well as being functional so that's why I, thank you sir you're i welcome. appreciate that i'm kraz the new beekeeper guy and go to kraz's channel the new beekeeper guy channel is a lot of fun i do recommend it thanks Bruce. all right appreciate it <laughs> thank you no bye everybody so Final thoughts on record keeping? Yeah, I think beekeepers should keep records of their hives. By giving me this information that I can go back to and look at trends and see what's going on. I think it's very positive. It's a good habit to get into when you're new. But also, 
down the road, if you want to know when you installed this particular queen or anything when you treated for mites, great records. So I recommend you do it. Do you have to use an app? Nah, I don't think I'm going to change. I'll, I'll continue doing mine on paper and pen, but I think this is a great way to go. All right, this is Bruce, my bees. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for stopping by.